I can't tell you the countless amount of times I speak with a client that has a course and I ask them, hey, what are your metrics? What's your lifetime value? What's your cost per lead? What's your webinar conversion rate? And they don't know the answer. Without knowing the right amount of math, you're not sure or you're not going to know whether or not YouTube ads can work for you. Now, YouTube ads, it can work. It will work. I've seen it work where people are spending five, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars a day in ad spend. There are people literally becoming millionaires selling on YouTube ads. But the only way it's going to work is the numbers have to make sense. When you compare YouTube ads to Facebook ads, I would say Facebook ads, when it comes to a low ticket product or just the minimal viable product, something you want to test out, Facebook ads is more likely to work out at a sooner pace. If you had a budget of $500 and you said, hey, I have a course and I want to test something out, I would say go with Facebook ads because it's set up in a way where it just appeals to people. You can get leads for cheaper and you'll just get more data at a faster pace. The YouTube ads, on the contrary, it takes more time to make some of the creatives. And there are a lot of iterations before you find the right winner and before you find that it's time to scale. But remember, I said scale, not $100 a day campaign, not $300 a day, not $500 a day. You're spending at the low end, at least, just say at least $1,000, $2,000. Like you want to spend 30K, 50K, 100K a month profitably on an ad platform at scale and then continue to grow that, YouTube ads is fantastic. But the first things first, what are the numbers? I'm gonna go over how to break that down with this uh, sheet so you have an idea of to look at the numbers initially and then say, okay, will this make sense for me in YouTube ads? So now we're gonna break down, we're gonna break down the metrics of your funnel. We're assuming that we're using Facebook ads as a traffic source. We are spending $1,000 a day. We are going to assume that we're sending people to a landing page where you give a sign up, then you send them to a webinar, and then there's a sale of a $997 product. Well, I'm gonna use Excel for this. You can use any type of spreadsheet software. You can do this in Google Sheets as well. We already agreed. We are spending cost $1,000 a day. Let's just say clicks. We're gonna say we're getting a dollar a click. So a thousand clicks a day. Leads. Let's just say we're getting 250 leads a day. First thing you wanna find out is our cost per lead. That is gonna be grabbing a cost where we're spending on a daily basis. You divide that by the number of leads. Fantastic. Four dollars a lead. Spoiler alert, you're probably not gonna get that on YouTube ads, but I'll, get, I'll delve into that later. Now, we wanna know what's our lead conversion rate. Lead conversion rate is basically saying, hey, for how many leads did we get divided by how many clicks? Lead conversion rate. We got 250 leads and divide that by 1,000 clicks. So lead conversion rate is 25%. Now, usually if it was something tried to get an opt-in with another type of incentive, maybe a PDF download or something else, you can probably get that a little bit higher, but I know in YouTube ads, that's probably on the higher end. I'm not saying you can't do better, but if you're around that end from anywhere from 17 to 25%, you're in a good range. So now the question is, let's just say you're getting on a daily basis sales of your $997 product. You're getting two sales. So if I were to ask you, Hey, what's your webinar conversion rate? What I'm really asking you is, of people that become leads, how many of those people become a sale? Yes, I know that not everyone that signs up watches your webinar, so it's not really a true test of the webinar conversion rate, but I'm trying to be give you as much information as possible as to the numbers that matter, what you're looking at, and then you can always dig deep deeper into, okay, but so many people attended, so many people opened the email, so on and so forth. But for the sake of this video, the webinar conversion rate, we're going to call it sales divided by the amount of leads. So in this case, sales divided by the amount of leads. This is your conversion rate. So when you're talking about auto webinars, this is on the lower end, but it's, it's closer to the average. So a lot of times when I'm asking a client before even seeing if they're the right fit for YouTube ads, I'm trying to find out more than anything, what is your lead conversion rate and what is your webinar conversion rate? Because that is going to tell me more or less how profitable it is going to be or whether it makes sense for something to scale. Now here in this column, I'm going to put the course price which we discussed in this example is 997. Now, and I'm gonna put revenue. Revenue is gonna be your course times the number of sales. All in all, looking at this sheet, if you spent $1,000 in your May 1994, it's awesome. You're making a ROAS close to two. And for those who don't know, it's revenue divided by cost. So your ROAS is close to two and it's profitable. Now the question is, do you have any upsells? If you don't have upsells, I will tell you, you should start working on that right away. And that will make all the difference in the world. 
Now your upsells are usually something that is higher priced than your course price. Let's just say for the sake of discussion, it's $19.97. This is for your numbers that are reflecting for Facebook ads. Fantastic. So you have this funnel, this is your acting funnel. And you're like, okay, am I ready for YouTube? Well, let's just see. And we didn't just specify this in the Facebook ads one. The CPC in this case is your cost divided by the amount of clicks. Your CPC is $1. Is it normal for you to see a dollar CPC if you have a good ad and YouTube ads? Probably not. That's probably a very good ad, but it may last at $50, $100 a day. But if you're looking to scale, that will go higher. Now, I would say a good amount for someone spending $5,000 a day, I would say closer in a good ad to 50. Now you can do better than that. You can do 180, you can do around $2, but I'm saying 250 just to be devil's advocate and go with the worst case scenario in this case. Fantastic. So your clicks are $2.50. You're still doing a thousand clicks. That means your cost is Twenty five hundred bucks. This has not changed, so you're still getting two hundred fifty leads. But now your cost per lead is ten dollars, and that's more aligned with YouTube. So usually, when you're getting a cost per lead, if you're getting less than ten dollars, you're doing super fantastic. Do not expect that to work in the long term, especially when you're scaling. But anywhere from the ten twenty dollar range will make sense. Once again, you're assuming a lead conversion rate of twenty five percent. That's generous, to be honest. More cases than not, it's usually a little bit less, but let's just say 25%, that's where you're getting. So you're still getting the same conversion rate, which should still equal two sales. So your course price is still 9.97. Your revenue is still 19.94, but what's your ROAS? It's 0.79. And for those of you new to ROAS, anything less than one is not break even, it's losing money. You're spending $2,500 to make 19.94. You're in essence, you're losing $500 a day. So the question is, oh, YouTube ads doesn't work. No, it, it works very well. These are the metrics. What you have to work on and assuming that your ad is working so well that it's keeping up with those initial metrics of Facebook ads is that you have to work on certain things on your funnel. One of the quick fixes, increasing your price. Let's just say your price was $19.97. Now we're back in business. You're still not as profitable as the Facebook ads one but you're still making some money. What's the pro against that? Well, now you don't really know what your webinar conversion rate is gonna be, right? Because you just changed the price. So that's gonna affect a whole a lot of other things. And then you're gonna mess around with your Facebook ads funnel, which is already working. So I wouldn't necessarily work with that first, but I think the quickest thing you could work on is actually having an upsell. Because if you have an upsell and you start selling this product, and let's just say your upsell, at this case, in this point, your upsell would be, would be much higher. I wouldn't have it at 1997, I would have it maybe three times as much, three to five X. So let's just say 2997. All you're doing at this point is you're trying to break even with YouTube ads, but you're really gonna make your profit with your upsell. And usually upsells, it's very normal to have eight to 10% of the people that have bought into your lower end course to buy into your upsell. So once you sell the 100 courses, you have free emails, you can continue to monetize these people. Maybe these people haven't decided off the bat to buy, but now they know you and they buy other products that you may have. You may have affiliate products because you're building an email list. At the same time, they're gonna buy your upsells and that's where you're gonna be increasingly profitable. The other fix here is very clearly is the webinar conversion rate. If your webinar conversion rate is 2%, which is an admirable place to be, now you're making money. As you can see here, your ROAS is close to two at 2% on YouTube ad. But the cool thing here, the difference of having the YouTube ads and the Facebook ads, if all these things are clicking, it's much easier to scale on YouTube ads. It will continue to be consistent. And then once you add the upsells, you will be so extremely profitable that YouTube ads will make all the sense in the world. On top of that, a last tidbit, in all the experience that I've had, YouTube ads will usually give you a higher quality person. People will always focus on this part, the cost per lead. Oh, well, my cost per leads are cheaper on Facebook ads. Fantastic. How many of your sales are you getting? You will notice over the long term, if you have proper tracking in place, which is another video we'll talk about, then you'll realize that your cost per sale may be higher. Facebook ads is phenomenal and it's great, especially low ticket products to see if your offer works, things of that nature. But if you really wanna blow up and you really want to scale your campaign, spend thousands a day 
YouTube ads is the way to go. But for all that to happen, your numbers have to make sense. So once again, if you're this person and those numbers remain the same and Facebook ads and you're hitting a dollar CPC, you're getting 25% landing page conversion rate for becoming a lead, you're getting a less than 1% webinar conversion rate and you're selling a course for $9.97, you still got some work. You wanna work on that before making the jump to YouTube ads. But if you at least have an upsell in place, then you have a shot. But you have to realize YouTube ads for scale, you have to have a profitable funnel on the back end. No amount of YouTube ads is going to make a average funnel work. But if you have these systems in place, you can scale to the moon. And trust me, you will get to a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars a day and spend much sooner than later. If you want to see if one of our services can help you out, whether it's us managing your campaigns or information about a course, how we test things, what's the strategy we take step by step, feel free to book a call with one of our advisors. The link is around the video.